What if I told you that scientists have successfully cloned a rhesus monkey, a species that is very similar to humans in many ways? What if I told you that this cloned monkey has lived for more than two years and is healthy and normal? What if I told you that this could revolutionize the field of drug development and testing and potentially save millions of lives? Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating and interesting topics about everything. Today, we are going to talk about a controversial and groundbreaking topic, cloning monkeys for medical research. You might be amazed, curious, or even skeptical. You might also have some questions such as, how did they do it? Why did they do it? What are the implications of this technology? Is it ethical? Is it safe? Is it worth it? In this episode, we will try to answer these questions and more as we dive into the fascinating and complex world of cloning monkeys for medical research. First, let's start with some background information. Cloning is the process of creating a genetically identical copy of an organism. The most famous cloned animal, Dolly the sheep, was created in 1996 by transferring the nucleus of a body cell from another sheep into an egg cell whose nucleus had been removed. This technique is called somatic cell nuclear transfer, or SCNT. Since then, many other animals have been cloned using SCNT, such as cows, pigs, horses, dogs, cats, and even camels. However, cloning primates, such as monkeys and humans, has been much more difficult and challenging. This is because primates have more complex genomes and epigenomes, which are the patterns of chemical modifications that affect gene expression without changing the DNA sequence. In 2018, Chinese researchers achieved the first successful cloning of a primate, a long-tailed macaque, using SCNT. However, they had to create 109 cloned embryos and implant them into 21 surrogate mothers, resulting in only two live births. Moreover, the long-tailed macaque is not the preferred species for medical research because it is less similar to humans than the rhesus monkey, which is widely used in experiments to study infection, immunity, neuroscience, and more. So the next challenge was to clone a rhesus monkey using SCNT. This proved to be even harder as previous attempts either failed to produce any live births or resulted in the death of the offspring within hours. The main problem was that the placentas, which provide oxygen and nutrients to the growing fetus, were not reprogrammed properly by the cloning process and did not develop normally. To overcome this problem, the researchers came up with a novel solution. They removed the inner cells of the cloned embryo, which develop into the body of the animal, and inserted them into a non-cloned outer embryo, which develops into the placenta. This way, they ensured that the cloned fetus would have a healthy placenta and increase the chances of survival. Using this technique, they created four DD4 cloned embryos and implanted them into 50 surrogate mothers, resulting in 35 pregnancies and one live birth. The cloned rhesus monkey, named Retro, was born on November 27, 2021, and has been healthy and normal ever since. He's now more than two years old and is the first cloned rhesus monkey to survive to adulthood. The researchers published their findings in the journal Nature Communications on January 16, 2024, and claimed that their achievement could pave the way for more research involving cloned primates. They said that they could produce a large number of genetically uniform monkeys that could be used for drug testing, as they would give more accurate and reliable results than non-cloned monkeys, which have genetic variations. They also said that they could use gene editing tools, such as CRISPR, to introduce specific mutations or diseases into the cloned monkeys and study their effects and treatments. For example, they could create models of Alzheimer's disease Parkinson's disease, autism, cancer, and more, and test new drugs or therapies on them. They argued that this would reduce the number of animals needed for experiments and speed up the process of drug development and approval, which could benefit millions of patients around the world. They also said that they followed strict ethical guidelines and regulations, 
and that they treated the cloned monkeys with respect and care. However, not everyone is convinced or impressed by their achievement. Some critics have raised serious ethical and moral concerns about cloning monkeys for medical research. They said that cloning is a cruel and unnatural process that causes immense suffering and harm to the animals involved. They said that cloning is a violation of the dignity and rights of the animals and that it treats them as mere objects or tools rather than as living beings. They also said that cloning is a risky and unpredictable technology that could have unforeseen consequences for the health and welfare of the cloned animals, as well as for the environment and biodiversity. They said that cloning could lead to genetic abnormalities, diseases, defects, and premature aging, and that it could disrupt the natural balance and diversity of life. They also said that cloning is a slippery slope that could open the door to more unethical and dangerous experiments, such as cloning endangered or extinct animals, cloning human organs or tissues, or even cloning humans. They said that cloning is a Pandora's box that should not be opened and that it poses serious threats to the values and principles of humanity. They urged the researchers to stop their cloning experiments and to adopt alternative methods of medical research that do not involve harming or exploiting animals. They also called for more public awareness and debate and for more strict and transparent regulations and oversight to prevent the abuse and misuse of cloning technology. So what do you think? Is cloning monkeys for medical research a breakthrough or a nightmare? Do you think it is a good or a bad thing? Do you think it is ethical or unethical? Do you think it is worth it or not? These are some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves and to discuss with others as we face the challenges and opportunities of cloning technology. Cloning monkeys for medical research is not just a scientific issue, but also a social, ethical and moral issue that affects us all. That's all for today's episode. Thank you for watching Curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious 